Welcome to my base. I'm James St. James, and spring is sprung. This is transformation. I'm here with the lovely, the handsome, the talented, the unbelievable Land Insider. How are you? Hi. Now, you look absolutely fabulous. Thank you. What is this? I am wearing all of my Sharp gear. I work for Sharp Suiting, which is a luxury label for agender wear. We do suits and custom suits. Today, you're here to show us that not all drag kings are these big butch bears. Right, there's, just like drag queens, there's unlimited levels of types of drag you can do as a drag queen. Same with kings. You don't just have to go out there and look like a butch dude every single time. I, you also have been doing this Donald Trump thing lately. I have. <laughs> I come out and I'm getting flipped off and booed and I can't, I can't hear my music over the horror of the audience. And then once they realize my take on it, they're just like throwing their money at me after. Well, it, <laughs> I've created a series where I'm doing every season. You and know? we are here to bring on spring. Bring on spring. Yes, April showers, bring May flowers, and here we go. Yes. Let me go change to my smock and then we'll okay. get started. Cool. Well, we're gonna do no natural tones today. We're gonna do all full color. I don't see you right now. I'm gonna paint on what I see. I'm so. just a white blob. You're a blank canvas. So instead of doing a base and then putting the shadows in, you're starting with the, the shadows as like the bones, yeah. and then you're putting the, the makeup on top of it. I'm blending it all with cream makeup, setting it, and then bringing it back to life with shadows. The colors just pop so much more, it blends and smooths. Now, do you teach anywhere? Do you do, you do makeup for other people? You... I do host workshops at colleges. But you're I'm available for anywhere. I'm available for any, just any university Just go to your, your website. college. Yes, you can find me on Facebook or any of those things. You got married. I so, did. Was this the last time I saw yes. you? Yes. And how did you guys meet? MySpace! No, <laughs> no, really? Like, well, we had one message exchanged. Like, well, what are you doing tonight? Oh, no, just smoking. And then oh. she wrote back and said, smoking what? And then <clears> I said, <throat> marijuana. <laughs> and then she's like, ooh, I'm gonna do that too. Mom, why don't you come over and smoke with me? Yeah. It was the 2004 equivalent of Netflix and Chill. Uh-huh, uh -huh. <laughs> MySpace and <laughs> weed. <laughs> I couldn't get enough of her. She couldn't get enough of me. Within two weeks of meeting, I was diagnosed with oral cancer. I gave her an out. The first like four months of our relationship, I couldn't even talk. So I was just writing notes oh. and she stuck around and she was amazing. I'm just adding all the different colors, just like a painting. Is there a big drag king scene as well? There's, there are pageants, there are, there are systems that are just for kings. And a lot of pageant systems are picking up the king as well. There's beautiful androgynous kings. There's cosplay kings that just go in with their makeup. There's really everything. It's really cool to watch. I don't think I could ever be a performer because there's some nights like, if I don't want to go out, I don't, I want to stay home. Yeah, we get jaded and we don't want to go to work sometimes, but once I'm on stage, No matter, energy, you always get that, that jo jolt yeah, of adrenaline. That's, it's really when people say, oh, I live, I live, I really live. It's what I'm born to do. It's funny, cross dress and lip sync to other people's songs is what I was born <laughs> to do, but hey. I'm gonna be 50 in a couple months, and I keep trying to write 50 things I've learned. I'm, having, I'm really struggling with it because I don't think I've learned anything. <laughs> it happens so fast, like you get old so fast. But you've learned to appreciate what you've had. Do I though? Do I appreciate do you? it? I mean, do you? You 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 don't wake up and sometimes and just look around and say, you know what, I'm breathing today. But see, to me, I never, sit back long enough to say, wow, this is great, because I've always think that like I've got so much more. I've, like, I've never done anything. I haven't done anything with my life. Of course, I also don't want to get to a place where I'm completely content, because then you lose drive. Completely. When people ask about me and um, my career and the, the battle it is as a king in a queen's world and all those things, and people quickly want to just blame my gender. It's like, oh, it's because you're a woman in a man's world. And I'm like, no, they're just not ready for whatever I've given them yet. And that's fine. That just puts it in my butt to work harder yeah. and start pushing and try new things, try new makeup styles. If it was just because I'm a woman and what's between my legs, then what's going to keep me pushing to get to a level that I want to be at? Okay. Everyone has their own struggles. Everyone has their own journey. As an artist, you have to just focus on your own and make yours what it is. and. Never give up and never settle on what you're doing. If you're looking in the mirror and you're seeing the same face every single time, 
I just yeah. looked to see if it was the same face. It <laughs> wasn't, so. That's why I'm constantly posting selfies of my makeups and stuff. I used to paint on canvas. That canvas was permanent. I can't peel off my face and put it on a wall. I have to take a photo, and the only people are gonna see it is if I post it online. So online is now a new art gallery, especially for makeup artists. Take those selfies and look at what you're doing, and if you're seeing the same thing every time, try something different. Queens, kings, anyone, it doesn't matter. So now we're, it's a lot of blending is what we're doing. In, yeah, in... we're just blending, blending. I have finished my basic base, and now I'm gonna set you, and then I'm gonna go back and bring back to life certain colors and start it on your eyes. Beat the fuck out of my face, pound yep. it. Pound that bitch. Oh, you like that? So I started doing this thing lately that instead of doing like one eyebrow and then trying to match it, I started doing steps of each eyebrow so that I can match each step. I don't know, I even sort of like it, just one. I can see how you would. <laughs> He's <laughs> from the 80s. So again, the power blending. I've used two colors so far on your brow and I'm just going in and blending them together. And what kind of eyes do, do your men get? Um, I paint them really similar to women. I like the ability to really use color and to accentuate the eye shape and make them look bigger with mm -hmm. the way that the, you know, the queens um, paint. So I actually paint them just like how the queens do most of the time. That's kind of where the fluidity comes in because it's celebrating the masculinity, celebrating the femininity, and celebrating the fluidity between the two which is kind of where my drag and my personal life blend. When did you discover that you had penchant or propensity for male drag? Well, I grew up acting in theater, so I was always on stage and really loving that. And then I have always drawn and painted, and I used to go to the drag shows all the time, and I was coming out and found beauty in the, th the theatricality that they presented. Oh. And I would see Raja and Chad Michaels and Raven, and and all these beautiful queens that inspired me. And when I was sick, I decided that one of the things to put back on my list of things to get back to was stage. But the roles that I was used to performing with those high feminine, waiting for a man to come save her type of roles didn't right, feel right. right. Uh -huh. And had you seen any drag kings at this point? Or was, no, was it just, just, on, it was just I, came in, coming up and on your own? Uh-huh, and looking up online and seeing, oh, so this is what people are doing. What I saw a lot was real kind of basic drag, which... The people coming on doing Butch Boy. Yeah, and then going and taking every tip spot offered to me at every gig anywhere and watching what the queens are doing backstage, getting there early, painting at the venue so that I could see what other people were doing with Bareface. And so I started applying that knowledge to what worked for me, and voila. Over. Ah! Okay, uh -huh. you ready to go on? I had to get that out! Oh, I've had a long day! Armpit! <laughs> that was just for you guys. You're welcome! <laughs> Look slightly like relaxed. Close. Close your eyes, but like relax it because you're squinting. Yeah. Don't give me that look, James. <laughs> It was like close your eyes but open them. Right, but, but keep them but but don't separate uh, instructions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna go put on my outfit and then we're gonna do our transformation we'll dance for all of you. Oh my god, yay! <laughs> Spring is sprung! I need a mustache, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, I love it. It's beautiful. Spring has sprung. Thank Fabulous, you. thank you so much. Thank I love you. you, Landon. I love you too. Yay, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. And don't forget to subscribe to Wow Presents.